Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze a two hinged parabolic arch with a point load acting on the center. Let us read the question one time and draw the diagram. A two hinged parabolic arch with a span of 24 meter carries a point load of 10 kN at its center. The rise of the arch is 9 meter. Calculate the horizontal thrust. Also, find the bending moment, normal thrust and radial shear at 6 meter from the left support. Also, draw the bending moment diagram. Using this data, we can draw the diagram. The length of the arch is given as 24 meter. The rise is given as 9 meter. This arch is carrying a point load of 10 kN at the center. In this problem, we have to find the horizontal thrust. Also, we have to find the bending moment, normal thrust and radial shear at 6 meter from the left support. Also, we have to draw the bending moment diagram. In this problem, first let us calculate the vertical reactions. This arch is having symmetrical loading conditions. A point load is acting on the center. Since the loading condition is symmetrical, we can easily calculate the vertical reactions Va and Vb. For that, we have to divide the load by 2. When we divide, we are getting 5 kN. In the 2 hinged parabolic arch, we know the horizontal thrust formula. H is equal to integration of m naught y dx upon integration of y square dx. First, let us calculate the numerator integration of m naught y dx. For that, we have to make sections in this arch. In this arch, we are having two parts, one before the point load and one after the point load. So, there are two parts. So, in this arch, we have to make two sections, one on the first half and one in the second half. You can see that I have made two sections, one section on the first half and one section in the second half. Since we are having two sections, this formula should be split into two integrations. This integration for the first section and this integration for the second section. The limits for the first integrations are 0 to 12. The limits for the second sections are also 0 to 12. So both of the limits are same. This arch is symmetrical. You can see that it is symmetrical on the left half and on the right half. So, when we make these two integrations, the final value will be same for both of the integrations. So, no need to do both of them. We can do any one of them and then multiply by 2. In this case, we can save a lot of time. I am going to take the first integration and then multiply by 2. Now let us calculate M01. We know that M0 is the moment about the section without considering the horizontal thrust. Up to the section, we are having only one load, that is the vertical reaction VA. There is no other load, so we can easily calculate M01. We are going to calculate M01 from the point A. In this case, we are moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive, anti-clockwise will be negative. The vertical reaction VA is acting towards the section in the clockwise direction, so it will be positive and the distance is x, so 5 into x, we will get 5x. We know the formula for y, 4hx into l minus x upon l square. In this formula, let's apply the value of l and rise h. Finally, we are getting this. In this integration, let's apply the value of m01 and y. 
Now we can apply all of the values in the calculator and make the integration. In this way we can easily calculate the final value. If you do not know how to make integrations in the calculator, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video and get the ideas. I have done manually also. For making the integration manually, we have to apply this formula. Before making the integration, let's take the constants outside. 2 into 5, we will get 10. 10 upon 16, we will get 0 0.625. Then we can do integration. When we integrate x square, we will get x cube by 3. When we integrate x cube, we will get x power 4 upon 4. Then let's apply the limits. No need to apply the lower limit because it is 0. When we apply, the whole term will become 0. So no need to apply. Only apply the upper limit 12. After the calculation, we are getting 5400. In the horizontal thrust formula, we have calculated the numerator integration of m0 y dx. Now let us calculate the denominator integration of y square dx. In this formula, let's apply the value of y. The limits for the integration are 0 to 24. Before making the integration, let us take the constants outside. Here 1 by 16 is the constant. Before taking the constant outside, we have to square it. 16 square is equal to 256. For this value, we can apply the formula a minus b the whole square. Finally, we are getting this. Now, let's go for integration. When we integrate x square, we will get x cube upon 3. When we integrate x cube, we will get x power 4 upon 4. When we integrate x power 4, we will get x power 5 upon 5. Then, apply the limits. No need to apply the lower limit, only apply the upper limit. Finally, we are getting 1036.8. In the horizontal thrust formula, we have calculated the numerator and denominator. Let us apply the values. Finally, we are getting h is equal to 5.21 kN. Alternatively, we can use the formula and find out the horizontal thrust. In this formula, W is 10, L is equal to 24, the rise H is equal to 9 meter. After applying the values inside the formula, here also we are getting H is equal to 5.21 kN. In this question, we have been asked to find out the bending moment at 6 meter from the left support. To calculate the bending moment at 6 meter, we need the height y6 at 6 meter. Previously, we have made one equation for y. In this equation, let us apply x is equal to 6 meter. In this way, we can get the height 6.75 meter. Now, let's calculate the bending moment at 6 meter from the left support. I am going to calculate the bending moment from the point A. In this case, I am moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive, anticlockwise will be negative. The vertical reaction 5 kN is acting towards the section in the clockwise direction. So it will be positive and the distance is 6 meter. So 5 into 6. The horizontal thrust is acting towards the section in the anticlockwise direction, so it will be negative. For the horizontal thrust, the perpendicular distance is 6.75 meter. Finally, we are getting minus 5.17 kN meter. To make the bending moment diagram, let us calculate the bending moment at the crown. This 5 kN is acting towards the center in the clockwise direction, so it will be positive and the distance is 12 meter, so 5 into 12. 
The horizontal thrust is acting towards the center in the anticlockwise direction. So it will be negative. For the horizontal thrust, the perpendicular distance is 9 meter. So into 9. Finally, we are getting 13.11 kN meter. Now let us make the bending moment diagram. In the crown, the bending moment is positive 13.11. From this point, we can connect the point A and the point B. In the point A and the point B, there will be no bending moment because they are hinged supports. If the bending moment comes above the arch, it will be positive and if it comes below the arch that will be negative in the question we have been asked to find out the normal thrust and radial shear at 6 meter from the left support to calculate the normal thrust and radial shear we have to find the theta and vx for calculating the theta let's apply this formula in this formula, L is equal to 24, H is equal to 9, and X is equal to 6 meter. After calculations, we are getting theta is equal to 36.87 degree. Now, let us calculate Vx, the shear force. We are calculating the shear force at the right side of the point A. If we calculate the shear force on the right side, Upwards will be positive, downwards will be negative. Up to 6 meter, we are having only one vertical force. That is the vertical reaction Va, 5 kN. Since it is acting upwards, that will be positive. Now, let us calculate the normal thrust and radial shear. For that, we have to apply these values inside these formulas. After calculations, we are getting the normal thrust N is equal to 7.17 kN and the radial shear R is equal to 0.874 kN. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.